There we go. Mm -hmm. Is it? Is it going? There it goes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is one of those games that just starts. <laughs> the nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by Next Generation Special Forces, being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson, and the president of Armstech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. And stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then, we'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Everybody and welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday, and today we are playing Metal Gear Solid. This is the first game in the Metal Gear Solid franchise. It is the original version, not the remake for the GameCube. Um, just because this is the version I happen to have. Um, I don't have a ton of experience with the Metal Gear series. Uh, I played a lot of 4 and a little bit of 5, uh, and all I have in of experience of this game is just that little bit that they made you play in Metal Gear Solid 4. Uh, but, uh, yeah, other than that, you know, let's, let's get started, shall we? Uh, yeah, we're gonna go new game. Uh, let's go normal. Yeah. 
don't know. I'm not super confident in my... Oh, that was the wrong button. Normal. Um... Uh, yeah, not super confident in my Metal Gear skills, so we'll do, we'll just stick to the normal difficulty. And I didn't think that I I didn't think that aside from uh, Metal Gear Solid Four, these games were actually all that cutscene heavy. But like, even this game, like, that intro cutscene was pretty long. <laughs> and we're not even done with cutscenes. We haven't even started playing yet. Can be through here? I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. I do know how the plot of this game goes. Just because of my exposure through the other games and, you know, various videos explaining what the hell was going on in those games. Because, <laughs> uh, the, uh, the story in this franchise can, yeah, I, I don't think it's quite controversial to say that, uh, the story can be this a little Snake. opaque at times. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. Yeah, I can see that on the screen. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay. I'm ready to go. Stuart. All right. Finally have control. Cool. All right. Uh, okay. So movement. Okay. That's how you crouch. Good to know. Can I go prone? No. All right. Uh, oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Just crouch and move. Got it. That's how you go prone. Get under here, nice. Oh, okay. All right, okay, all right. Can't crouch walk, that's a thing. All right, wait till this guy leaves. Okay, cool. All right, so now we hold against this wall. No one need there. Uh, he's gonna... Okay, no, he's going around that way. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, I don't... I think I can... Oh! That's not a great time for a call, but all right, I'll take it. Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the Yeah, ground. I know, I know that. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You better hide somewhere. Okay. I'll find a spot to hide. So I'm gonna go this way, and this should be a good spot. Got a ration, nice. All right. Just kind of gotta wait for it to come, I guess. How do I know when it's here? I'm gonna guess when the credits are over. That's probably when. Or I'll check it. Can I? Actually, can I get under this? No. Okay. Cannot. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, do, 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 do. Just watching the radar, that's all. Uh oh. Oh. It's coming down now. Cool, cool. Oh, there's someone on it. Uh, that's not good. Okay. We're good, we're good. Off. All right, cool. We're moving on. There we go. Bye. All right, so far, so, so far, so good. You know, it's, uh, we managed to get through there without getting spotted. It's cool.
and we have another cutscene. That beautiful face. Good old PS1 graphics. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Oh, man. As well as it actually, like, a lot of PlayStation 1 games didn't actually age very well graphics wise, but, like, I don't know. I still feel nostalgic for it. It was. I did a lot of my. Early plan on the PS1, so. Yeah, there's some nostalgia there. Even for a game like this that I haven't actually played before. Just this, this style of graphics, you know. I get the feeling in like a few years there'll probably be people about like me who enjoy this uh it's snake. graphic it's style disposal, remaking so games in Excellent this style snake. or not it remaking them, but making new games in the bit. style like they did with uh, the sneaking suit working out I'm nice and dry but it's a little hard with to move. the uh Bear with it it's designed to prevent hypothermia this 8 bit and 16 bit games take it easy you know. I'm grateful if it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. D. Behind D. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. Oh, this game makes uh, good use of vibration. Like, you, you might have even heard it, like, as that, uh, it's, it's vibrating as the, uh, helicopter's moving around, which is, which is pretty cool. Right, like, especially, you know, at the time, there are only when it was hours left until they're a really new thing. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Yeah. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. <laughs> but uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Oh, boy. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. Okay. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, mm -hmm. and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Yeah. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't let them see you. Okay. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Okay. We have our mission. 
Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. <laughs> Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. Okay. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. 14096. Got Except it. for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. Jesus! I'll hold you to that, Doctor. <laughs> by the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. <laughs> Nice. There is some uh, overt uh, overt flirting in this game <laughs> that I was not expecting. The door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. All right. And we have control again. Cool. All right. So, we're going to sneak into this building, but we're going to do that next time, because as for this episode, that's a wrap. Okay, time to actually get out my <laughs> freaking stopwatch. So I can actually time my episodes. That'd be smart.